over the past year I've worked quite a bit on different uh, systems with uh, ordinary stepper motors and stepper controllers like uh, this one which is a uh, long uh, Chinese uh, one uh, and then together with an ordinary stepper motor 1.8 degree uh, either 4, 6 or 8 wires coming out of it depending on how the coils uh, are set up. One of the issues uh, with ordinary stepper motors is that if you lose a step then it's gone. You really don't know whether uh, you have moved or not. If there's an obstacle, uh, the force is not strong enough or something like that then you may lose uh, a step and then basically the rest of what you do will then be off with that step or if you lose many steps of course off with many steps so I have been looking into what uh, other options like servos and so on and then I uh, got uh, I, I've got the attention of uh, something called a hybrid servo or closed loop uh, stepper motors I think is also what they normally would be called and I got this uh, set here, this is the controller uh, and this is then the stepper motor I got that from uh, China uh, it should be a fairly common brand lead shine however uh, this uh, version, the HBS 507, you can find it on eBay easily uh, but they don't really support it outside China so for example the control software that you need to use if you want to change any of the parameters uh, via these uh, RS232 port then that is in Chinese um, I have figured out how to use it so I have been able to change the micro strip stepping and other things because I did find a manual uh, on the internet that explained the software and then was basically just having the manual in one hand and then using the Chinese software uh, uh, in the other and that uh, ended out working out fine so I managed to uh, change the parameters that I want so here you can see uh, you have a, a couple of connections here for the power uh, U, V and W that's for the motor because it's an AC motor then you have uh, this uh, DP15 which is for the encoder, I'll show that in a second and then you have the normal pull and direction enable and then there's also an alarm that you can connect uh, if you like it will make an alarm if uh, you go outside uh, the uh, limits uh, of, the, um, of the motor uh, that you have set if we look on the uh, motor here um, it's called Easy Servo Motor and this uh, web page here L E I believe it's an I S A I dot com that is the uh, Chinese uh, outlet where they sell that for domestic use and I bought this one on Taobao dot com which is uh, an all Chinese uh, platform um, normal uh, NEMA 23 and uh, then the, the PC is that you have the three wires coming out of it uh, for the uh, U, V and W and then you have the DP15 and that is for the encoder which is here at the end so we should envision that there is some kind of uh, measuring device inside uh, and a disk with 1000 slots on and uh, these slots will then for one revolution it will count 1000 and uh, the signal will come out of this and then essentially if uh, you ask the motor to uh, go 15 steps then this one should count 15 and then send the signal back to the controller and then if it didn't get the 15 then it will actually send more so it is this closed uh, loop system that secures that you actually get the steps that you want. Uh, both of the systems uh, being the normal stepper or the closed uh, loop or hybrid stepper uh, system 
They can uh, be uh, controlled via Mark III, uh, simple parallel port, and uh, the breakout board, and then the signals goes directly to either this controller or that controller. You could also use uh, a uni uh, USB uh, board uh, as uh, as you wish uh, to uh, connect to the stepper. Just for your reference, you can see here how uh, this type of stepper motor is uh, put together. You have the uh, U, V and W, and you can also see the colors of the leads here I mentioned. So U is brown, V blue, and W is black. And they basically just connect to the uh, controller uh, like this. This is then another one. This is the one you can buy in, uh, in the US and in Europe. So this is the simplest uh, mock-up I guess one can do. I have the PSU, which uh, is a 300 watt, 40 volt DC uh, power supply, also supplied by Lead Shine. Then I have the the stepper controller, and um, as you can see, I only connected the uh, power in, and then the motor with the three uh, color. And here's the uh, controller, and the only thing I have connected is the power, the motor, and then the DP15 for the encoder. And then here we have the motor, uh, and uh, I can now try to power it up, and then we can see how it actually tries to compensate if I try to force the shaft uh, off the position. So now I have powered up the uh, the controller, uh, and if I take this wrench here and uh, simply try to move it away, you can see that it actually moves it back again into position every time. And the same goes uh, with the other way. It's I'm pushing it away, and it's coming back. Um, if I do this very violently, it will actually trigger the alarm. I could try to do it a little more. Maybe. Here, click, and then now it's totally off. And if we turn the camera, we can see that the alarm is uh, flashing, um, and the uh, controller will send out an alarm signal. Uh, on this uh, piece here, uh, on this terminal here, and if you connect that to your Mark III, then uh, Mark III will actually stop, and uh, you will not lose uh, where you are, even though you uh, did this. So uh, by forcing it very hard, uh, it's a, it's a possible to uh, make the alarm go. So let's now try to connect the uh, controller to RS232. Uh, on the computer. Together with the uh, controller I got a cable that has this uh, connector uh, in the one end and in the other end it had a uh, female uh, DB15 uh, that fits into the uh, serial port uh, on an old computer which is the one I'm using that also has uh, the parallel port for Mark III. So uh, I'll put this one into the uh, connector, like this, uh, and then I will uh, power up the, uh, the PSU. And maybe you could hear that the motor did engage. So here we are on the computer, and here I have the, uh, the Chinese control HBS program. And if we open it, it looks almost as you could figure out what to do. Because you have something written in English, but the rest up here is in Chinese, and it becomes even worse as uh, we go. But fortunately, I did find a uh, operation manual for the English version, which I haven't been able to find at all. Uh, so, and these tabs and so on, they actually fit uh, with what's on the program, roughly. Uh, so uh, let's try to go back and here you can see the icons and those are the same icons that you will find on, uh, on the program. So the first one is to connect to the drive using this uh, plug icon here. So this is the one here and it connects to COM1 uh, and it may take a little while to connect. 
we know when it's connected that these icons up here uh, becomes uh, colored just as they are uh, on the uh, on the from the manual here so now i have a connection to the driver you can see that the uh, icons have become colored and the first thing i want to do is to download the uh, parameters from the controller you do that here and uh, the top button here is the download button so now it's reading and you get all the parameters and a lot of nice uh, wobbly bubbly uh, that you can't read but fortunately we can change to the uh, the manual and we can see that the uh, what what the meaning is so the first one is the current loop the next one is another one and then the third one is an important one pulse per circle uh, and that means uh, micro stepping basically so uh, right now uh, we have the third one is to be 4000 which is to me a fairly high number so if we want to change that we simply double click it and then we change it to for example 1600 uh, enter or move it away and then uh, we have 1600 the next one again is the encoder uh, and it should be 4000 so most of these you will not necessarily need to change at all and then uh, if we want to download if we want to download um, to the machine or back to the driver we say load to driver which is the second button so we do like this and then it writes and probably it says okay or something i don't know uh, and then it's done so if we now try to read uh, from it it will go out and read again and you can see now we've got the 1600 for the micro stepping uh, downloaded into the uh, servo driver so uh, that's a good way then another place you want to maybe want to test out is here where you can test the machine or the stepper um, and if we go and find that place in the manual we have it here so motor testing it's velocity uh, distance number of repeats acceleration so on and so forth so uh, we'll just let these numbers stand uh, and we'll see what happens if we click yeah maybe you heard it maybe you didn't uh, i can move it a little closer to the microphone so the motor is moving uh, forwards and backwards with a certain speed if we now increase the speed and it goes very fast so this is a very nice way just to test that uh, the uh, system works at all so um, having done that i guess uh, that's all for now you can uh, think you can have good benefit of using a system like that uh, and i will definitely install it on a machine uh, in the near future So let's just try again to see uh, the voltage moving. I have asked it to do five uh, repeats. And then uh, increasing uh, the uh, speed 10x. So yeah, that is how it works.